hello guys now in this particular video we will talk about uh, functions okay so what is function and how everything works we will discuss all the things in this particular video okay so actually already I have created this uh, function.ss file for you if you will not then you can also create uh, this one okay so let me first discuss about the function what is function the basic idea about it like if you are aware of any other programming language like C, C++, P, P, Java, Python then, then you might be aware of the function but if not then let me tell you uh, about this okay how everything works okay so what is a function so the basic definition which everyone says is like function is a block of code which can be used again and again okay so as the name suggests uh, as the definition so this is the same thing as like it okay so whatever the code if you write some kind of code and you want to use it again and again and again then you can write that particular code inside a function okay suppose you don't want to do some particular task uh, uh, repetitively okay then you can use a function okay suppose you have to uh, like uh, uh, what you can say you have to sum two numbers okay then uh, you can create a function and then you will just call that function to add those numbers okay so basically the whatever the main benefit we get from the function is the code reusability okay it means we can reuse that particular uh, code again and again this is the basic idea about the functions okay so now let me tell you about the basic uh, syntax so what is the basic syntax of the function in the cell scripting so how we can do it so basically the basic syntax is the function name whatever the function name you want to provide okay the double parenthesis and the simply this uh, curly braces and inside that curly braces you have to just write the code okay whatever the code or whatever the operation we want to perform okay so this is the basic syntax which we will be uh, using inside this whole tutorial so now let me just create one function with the name greetings okay and i will uh, just uh, echo something like uh, good morning uh, good morning ayush like this okay and to call the function you have to nothing uh, you have to just uh, write the name of the function greetings okay and now let me just uh, move into the this particular directory okay and now what I will do I will just provide a certain permission to the file ch mode plus x uh, 19 function dot sh okay clear the screen dot slash 19 okay so here you can see good morning I use has been printed okay so here what happens uh, suppose we want to again uh, again uh, call that function so we can just uh, call it again here what happened let me just copy it again greetings paste it here okay so again it will print uh, good morning as two times okay why it happens because here you can see the name of the function and, and we are just uh, echo this thing good morning ayush and then we are calling the function okay so with function calling whenever you call any function then it calls this function and whatever the code inside it it gets executed okay so this is the basic functionality of the functions okay <clears throat> sorry now moving forward uh Oh, we need to talk about like uh, parameterized function and the returning value okay so what is the parameterized function let me first discuss about you so basically in function what happens you pass some parameters okay and uh, with on that parameters we do some kind of computation and all those things so I will just create the sum function okay I will just uh, remove this thing and I will create now parameterized function okay so so the name of the function will be sum ayush okay and i will just uh, echo the sum of dollar uh, one and dollar two is not like this uh, before the uh, parameterized function let me just discuss with the simple function how we will do it like suppose if a equal to 12 and b equal to 13 then c equal to dollar a plus dollar b and you have to just echo the value of c echo the sum of dollar a and dollar b is uh, 
we will have to just echo dollar c here okay just save the code and we will just call the sum function and then we will get the result as 25 okay so we have got some kind of error in line number sorry we don't have to provide this parenthesis here okay so okay we are getting a uh, error not error uh, the same string because uh, we have not uh, added the expression in a right way okay so here you can see for computation like uh, we know like we need to do like this okay then and only we can compute anything okay so here you can see the sum of 12 and 13 is 25 so suppose if you want to uh, change number okay so 13 and 14 so we can get uh, now result as 27 i think yes 27 so here the thing is we need to change that thing in our this uh, inside function but uh, what do we want to pass the pass the value while calling the function and in that case we need the parameters okay so how we can do it so in cell scripting we basically pass the parameters as this one like from here we will pass suppose 12 and 13 and then it will act as the dollar one and dollar two okay so in this way we can get so now for this i will just uh, uh, like uh, provide a equal to dollar one and b equal to dollar two okay and uh, all things will remain same and i will just pass the parameter here 12 and 13 not 12 and 13 let me provide just okay 12 12 and let me clear the screen and again this so here you can see the sum of 12 and 12 is 24 now uh, we don't need to change anything in our function we can do changes here okay so now the core now the answer will be different like 167 okay so this is basically the parameterized function okay so we can uh, pass parameters uh, inside the function and then with those para and and the computation will happen on those particular parameters okay so this is the basic functionality of the parameterized function let me just create some another function like suppose uh, you want to uh, get uh, get name of a student get a student name i will create a function get a student name okay and uh, i will just echo like this name of uh, a student is and here i will just echo dollar one okay so here whenever you will uh, call that particular function and provide the name so let me provide the name as ayush and uh, clear the screen so here you can see name of a student is ayush okay so in this way you can pass the parameters okay so now uh, let me discuss about you the return type of the function of in cell scripting how this uh, works so basically in uh, uh, what we can say in cell scripting the return uh, the like method of returning any value some little bit of difference so let me discuss it with you how it basically happens okay so basically what happens whenever you call the function and if you return something then you need to store that return value in a special uh, like uh, with a special uh, symbol we can say like that okay so here if we want to echo uh, and not echo if you don't want to echo you want to just return the value so you have to just write return dollar c okay and after calling the function you have to store the value return equal to you have to write uh, uh, I think dollar question mark so it basically stores the value whatever the return okay so if here the return value is there like what basically happens it will store the value uh, before like here the sum function okay so if there is uh, if it is returning some value then it will store inside this variable return okay rdt but if there is again some kind of any function and and here it is returning something like suppose uh, here i create some function okay and here i write the function image sub okay and here uh, uh, the return type will be all the same thing but here in this case now what will happen it will uh, store the value of this return value okay 
so this happens so let me buzz before uh, going into complex thing let me first discuss with the basic part how how we can uh, get the return value so now you have to just echo uh, the return echo return value is dollar rdt okay so let me just clear the screen and uh, i will just uh, comment out this part okay and let me run the script so here you can see the return value is 67 okay so in this way you can uh, store the return value but now what happens if you if we just uh, uh like uh, we do sub here sub we do okay so in this case let me uh, check what happens okay so in this case also we are getting the return value is 67 okay but we have not called this sub function so let me first call this sub function so sub i will provide uh, 13 and 14 okay uh, not 13 14 13 and 12 and here i will write dollar a minus b so value should be 1 okay so here you can see return value is 1 so and now what i will do i will just call this sum function here before return so now let me check what will be the return value return value will be now 167 okay so now you i hope you got the idea about uh, how the value is stored inside this uh, red uh, variable okay so whatever the function is calling before this so that value is getting stored inside this variable okay and whatever uh, like uh, if like some function is calling before this one so that value will not be stored inside this okay so this is the thing about return type of a, a value in a shell scripting okay so that's all for today's guys and i hope you liked it i will update this source code in, in our github repository you can access that from uh, access this code from there okay and uh, in our next video we will cover something more important and uh, that is about nested function so we will discuss all those things about in the next video so that's all for today and if you have any query you can ask us in the comment section thank you thank you for watching